You ever see one of these things? Are they even any good? What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So this is called a Speedy Stitch All. You can buy these things super cheap at Harbor Freight right now. Um, I acquired this one from my grandfather. It was in with all his stuff um, when they cleaned out his house after he passed away years and years ago. Um, it's an old one. These are how old the instructions are. He had it with him. Speedy Stitch All, look at that. So super old. Um, I don't know how old, I can't find a date on here. Unless I'm missing it, I looked all over this. But I can tell you that if you're gonna buy um, anything with prepaid postage included, you can buy a bobbin with coarse thread for 25 cents. You can buy uh, the wax thread, finer coarse for 25 cents, that's shipped. <laughs> you could buy extra needles for 15 cents each shipped, um, it's wild. So, all right, so they are the instructions. Now, here's what I can tell you about the Speedy Stitch All. I I don't ever use one of these things. And I'm actually surprised my grandfather had one. He was like a handyman kind of guy, but my grandmother was a sewer and had sewing machines and I know she hand sewed and stuff like that. So it surprised me a little bit. I know how to use one of these. That's what I'm gonna show you today, how to use one, because I think it is one of those things. You're at Harbor Freight, and I keep referring to Harbor Freight because they're always there on the shelf hanging. So it's like, they were on sale the other day for $2.99 at the Harbor Freight I was at. So it's like, well, get one, throw it in your toolbox, maybe you'll run across a situation that you can use it um, if not you can use two needles but this is going to give you just a little bit more power a little bit more oomph all right so the speedy stitch all itself when you take off the top portion think of it like a drill chuck okay um, that's ultimately what this is when you take this top portion off just like this you're gonna find the needles located on the inside so we're gonna pull one of those needles out we're gonna place it in the chuck itself and then we are going to close that top on, tighten it down. That is gonna secure our needle in place, okay? It's really nice, really easy that way. Now, the next thing is on the back side, there is a little compartment that you're gonna open up and um, you don't wanna lose any components, but this has the bobbin inside. Now, the bobbin is literally whatever my grandfather had on it. It's a mix match of all kinds of stuff. So we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna say by the looks of it and being a sewer myself, you know, we sew a lot of stuff at our shop, that the material that's on here is the fine, medium, and I guess what they call coarse thread. I, I mean, it's, it's definitely old. So with that said, we're just gonna, we're gonna use a little bit of it, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of that and inside the speedy stitch, there is going to be a hole, all right, somewhere on the palm of it. So what we need to do is we need to feed the thread through. This is probably gonna be the worst part of the whole scenario here because you're working from the inside out to get this thread through and it's like just a wooden hole and the, and the thread is just fraying. All right, so after cutting the thread and trying a couple times, we get it on point, okay? But of course on camera, that's not gonna work out, right? So what we wanna do then is once the thread is through, we're gonna give it a little pull and make sure that it's freely spinning on the bob. And if it is, we can take the back cap and replace it on our speedy stitch awl. Now, what you're gonna notice on the awl is that there is this wooden pin, okay? It doesn't move, there's not a hole in it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out some of that thread, you're gonna wrap it around the pin, okay? So you're gonna go over the top of the pin, and then when you come back, the end of your thread has to go underneath the thread that is on the top, okay? To make this stay on here correctly, okay? So there's gonna be a loop like that. So that's what our speedy stitch is now looking like, okay? Now we're gonna come up, and my recommendation would be wherever this pin is, okay, to again, loosen up your chuck and then place the whole 
fits in the needle, you're gonna see there's a groove, okay? That groove should line up with that part of, with that pin, okay? With that part of the speedy all. And then you're gonna place your thread through the needle. Now, a good trick, which I know enough from sewing already, is if you don't know what size needle to use, because I'm sure, as all of you know, if you ever made anything, there's a thousand different size and types of needles, okay? If you don't know, take a piece of thread, put the needle on. When you move the thread back and forth, the needle should slide freely. If it's not, the needle is not big enough for the thread, okay? All right, now we are all laced up and we're good to go. We're ready to actually start sewing. So, um, one thing that you may overlook with your speedy stitch all system, okay? When you're gonna use one of these things is that you have to pull enough thread out, so I'm holding the end of the thread here, I know it's a little bit tough to see on camera, but I, you need enough thread to sew your whole project. So if you're sewing a big long piece like this, this end thread needs to be big and long plus a couple inches. So we're not gonna be sewing that much here, okay? We're just gonna be sewing some cotton fabric that I have, so we really don't need to pull out that much, it'll be way easier anyway. So I'm gonna get this folded up, and then we're gonna go over here on one of our tables at the classroom, and I'm gonna show show you this thing in action. Okay, so we have white material, black thread, speedy stitch. Okay, so let's start sewing right here, just a few quick stitches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your awl, okay? You're gonna just punch it right through wherever you need to stitch and pull back a little bit. That's gonna create this loop, which you can see right here off of the needle. And then you're gonna pull all that line through. That first one that you pull through, this line has to be the same length plus some of what you're actually gonna be sewing. And then pull your whole needle system back through. Okay, very simple. Now, your next stitch, okay? Decide where you want that to go in at. Push through the material and pull back. You're gonna get another one of those little loops off of the needle. Take that end that was already through there, feed it through the loop and then pull. And there is our first lock stitch. Continue that process. So through, pull it, you're gonna create that loop. Feed your thread through. You wanna pull that all the way through, pull it, lock stitch complete. Through, create a loop. Feed your line through the loop. Like that, pull it complete. And then you just continue that process. So once you get going with this, it is pretty quick, okay? One thing that you don't want to happen though, while you're doing this, if I feed this through, okay? So I feed my bottom end through, just like that, all right? When I pull my speedy stitch through, all right, that loop should get buried between the bottom and the top end. If you pull so hard that that loop is coming through like this, you pull too far. That means you had, per se, too much top tension. So to fix that, just grab the back thread and pull it and bury it in between, okay? So you're not gonna pull this thing so tight every time, all right, that the thread goes one way or other. You can tighten it by pulling it just to make the stitch tight, but don't pop that loop through. So I would continue through, create my loop. Stick my end through. Pull it through and I'm good to go. That is how you're gonna create your lock stitch. Now, to finish this thing off, okay, what I would recommend is you're gonna pull some extra thread out of your speedy stitch, okay? You're gonna cut your thread. So my thread's cut. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing as I was doing. I'm gonna find my next stitch or my last stitch hole, push this through. But now I'm gonna pull the thread through and I'm gonna take it out of the needle and pull my stitch back, my speedy stitch through. Both ends are now exposed here. I could tie these in a knot and that will finish off my stitching. 
right, you crazy bushcrafters. So there you go. That's how you use a speedy stitch, a tool for the toolbox, definitely. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, can you do this with two needles? Yes, absolutely. This is just another tool um, to maybe get the job done in a weird situation. Or if you are sewing really heavy canvas, rather than trying to drive those needles through, you have the awl that you can push pressure through. So think about this for more heavy canvas and uh, leather repair type work compared to just lighter materials, okay? And it will get the job done. So now you know how to use it. So I'm gonna put this away in my toolkit for when I need it. And um, if you enjoyed this video while I'm doing this, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also check us out over at coalcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and our merchandise. And until the next video, stay in the woods.